Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. I am on my way to my local butcher to pick up a big meat order, and I figured I would show you what I'm getting. All right, so I did get some fresh stuff. Everything else is frozen down in the basement, but I'm gonna show you what I got fresh. So I picked up two loaves of bread. We are going camping this weekend. Um, so I wanted to get some fresh bread for that. And then I got a pound of lean burger. I got two big sirloins. We're gonna eat those tonight for supper. I got this big three pack of chicken breasts. Uh, we're gonna take that to camp and cook that on a cast iron, maybe over the fire, maybe not. I also picked up two um, heads of lettuce. A little bit shocked at the price of those heads of lettuce, but it also saved me from running to town. And then I also got um, two packs of the beef stew meat. This is what I love to make um, my steak salads out of. So that is what we have for the fresh stuff. Now I'm gonna head down to the basement and show you what all I got that was frozen. All right, so I am down in my basement. I have everything laid out to show you guys. I got 20 of these one pound packs of lean ground beef. So I got 20 packs of those. Then if you saw upstairs, I got those beef, the steak beef tips. Um, they call them sirloin tips. I use those so much because I love to make them in beef stroganoff, um, steak salads. I love to make those in um, like beef stew or vegetable beef soup. Those little beef tips are awesome. <laughs> they take the work out of it for you. So I got eight packs of those. Those packs are usually between about a pound and a half and two pounds. I got six of these beef rump roasts. Um, I asked them to be about three to four pounds. So I got six of those. Then if you saw that pack of chicken breast upstairs, I got six more of those. All of these are frozen. I got that pack upstairs. It was fresh because we're going to eat it this weekend while we're camping. So all of these six packs all have three chicken, chicken breasts in each pack. Um, we do raise meat chickens. If you've been following along, you know that we raise meat chickens several times a year, but we eat so much chicken in this house, especially chicken breast, that um, even the amount of meat birds we raise, we still need to buy um, chicken breast to supplement because sometimes we run out. So that's why I love my butcher. I love the chicken breasts that they get. Upstairs, I had also gotten um, sirloins for tonight's supper that were fresh, but I got six more sirloins and I get them the biggest ones that they have and then I wrap them in a two pack and that is enough to feed us and usually it's enough left over to make like one or two lunches and that's big in the house um, is having a little bit left over out of any of this to be able to make a lunch or two. We are huge on leftovers. We try to eat everything. <laughs> so. Um, over here, I got some bone-in pork roasts. Um, I want to say these are the rump roasts too. These are a lot bigger. Um, I didn't realize how big these were going to be. I normally get, they make a seasoned pork roast and that's normally what I get, but I decided to change it up and get just regular pork roast. That way I can smoke it in the smoker. I can turn it into pulled pork sandwiches. I can make it with pork and sauerkraut. The seasoned pork roasts are really great too. It's with the butcher's own seasoning blend, but I wanted to just try some plain. Um, what's left? All right, I got, these are pepper and cheese. I got half a pound. These are meat sticks. So this is something that my butcher likes to make. Um, they make all different flavors. They have spicy ones, pepperoni flavor. Um, this is the pepper cheese. Harper really loves these. I even send these in her lunchbox. Oh, excuse me, I will cut one in half and send it in her lunchbox. And then for me, because I'm not a huge fan of these, it's a texture thing for me. That's why I don't really care for them. So for me, in London, 
we get half a pound of just their regular beef jerky and they come in these really great big sheets of jerky they slice them really really thin and I just rip them apart and snack on them this is like my favorite treat ever uh, when I was pregnant with Harper I <laughs> found my butcher and I found this jerky and I basically lived for nine months I lived on oranges and this beef jerky so it's something that I still absolutely love it's probably my favorite thing at my butcher I could live on this I could eat this all day if only I didn't have TMJ because my gosh does it aggravate my jaw chewing through that jerky so the last thing that I got is these four weird bones I know you're probably like what the heck these are for my dogs these are just a smoked um, soup bone basically but they smoke them and I get these for my dogs since we're going camping we're leaving today's a Thursday we leave tomorrow it's a Friday um, I'll give one of these to my doggies whenever we leave and then all weekend long they will gnaw on these great big bones and it just gives them some entertainment gives them a little snack my dog Ruger he'll actually take his and he'll bury it if he's not like ready to eat it today or you know whatever day I give it to them if he's not ready to eat it he'll take it and bury it and then he like lets it ferment <laughs> he'll go back and get it when he's when it's he's ready for it and it's really disgusting but he likes it so for all of this and all of the stuff upstairs all of that fresh stuff I had a pound of burger I had two sirloins I had a big pack of chicken breasts I had two loaves of bread and two heads of lettuce so for everything here it was $565. This will last us um, a couple of months, honestly. This will probably last us three months, I'd say. I have a deep freeze here, and this is my meat freezer. I had some meat still left, and I think I have a few. Oh, it's my ice cream freezer, too. Um, I did have a little bit of meat left down in there. But I'm going to pull all this out and reorganize this better. And this should be enough meat to last us, like I said, probably three months or so. All right, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this butcher haul. We will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.